I'm seeing it. This is just pencil, right? Yeah, it's all pencil. This is amazing, man. Hey guys, well, it's here from myalanjamaica.com. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And yes, we're on Zoom today. You know, I'm, I've mentioned it in another video, uh, one of my other videos, that I actually have a poll that I do on my website. The question is, what makes Jamaica special? And you know, you have, you have been, um, you've been following my videos uh, and I ask all my interviewees on my YouTube videos as well. What makes Jamaica special? In over, over, over close to 90% of the respondents almost always says it's the people. And I typically interpret that to mean our willingness, our kindness, you know, um, our compassion. But it's also the talent. Our Jamaican, Jamaicans are among the most talented anywhere. And it's not just sports, all aspects of life. Today I have one such gentleman, immense talent. I was awed by some of his work. I saw it and I'm telling you, I was blown away by some of what I've seen. His name is Ryan. He's an artist. And I'm going to be speaking with Ryan today. Stay tuned. And by the way, again, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and tap the bell notification. I do a lot of videos, uh, videos like these interesting personalities, um, places to go, things to do, everything Jamaica. So make sure you subscribe to stay updated on all my videos. All right, Sir Ryan. Yes, sir. How are you, sir? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Thanks for having me here. Thank you again for your patience and for joining, for joining me and my all my my viewers um, across the internet space. It's a pleasure to have you. I am awed by your work, sir. I saw. Thank you. I thank saw, you. I've been following your channel and I saw a few of the works. Most recently, I saw the the Toots Hibbert drawing. Yeah. But before, before I ask you to tell me a little about that, I'm going to ask you to tell my audience a little about you, a little quickly about you. And okay. What you. Okay. I am Ryan Griffiths, not Ryan. Most persons, um, they would spell it R-Y-A-N, but mine is ah. R-A-Y-O-N. So it's ah. Ryan. Okay, so, good. I don't know if I had some, if my parents saw some, some similarity or maybe some some linkages to join and almost name me crayon so all they did was, <laughs> was to remove the c from crayon and, and my name is rayon so i don't know <laughs> yes. all right so i i'm from saint elizabeth i i was born in a community called aberdeen yeah that's that's in the cockpit country you're a, you're a country man Yes, um, very much so. <laughs> right. Me too, man, and I'm proud, yes. <laughs> yeah, very much so. So I'm from Aberdeen. I grew up there. I Life there was always tough because um, we early out, we, we lacked um, electricity um, in those times. I never had electricity until um, I was in about grade seven. So... Mm -hmm. My entertainment at that time was drawing and reading the Atlas. So wow. up to this day, I, I can still recite all the capitals for all the countries in the world because the, At the Atlas was, was, um, was my book and join playing cricket. I did those things. So even now, I think that's, um, it, it's a luck. Um, to me because I don't appreciate um, cartoon or caricature because I never watched them while I was growing up. And I think that um, that had something to do with, do with it. So I grew up there. I, I went to my, my, my parents, the, my, my mom, she, she, she would sell at the market and my my father, um, he also worked close by the community, close by to the community at um, a factory, Appleton Estate. Wow. And yes, so it was always um, tough there growing up, but I had my siblings there and 
as I said, I draw and I draw and I draw as much as I could. I, um, I also made stuff. I, I would make like um, box string strokes, um, stuff like those. Um, yes. yes. Yes, yes. And but but you you and you are a teacher by profession, right? Oh yes, yes. I'm a teacher now. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Yes. So you but you don't. I'm gonna ask you to just hold one of those pictures, the two seabird one, if you don't mind. <laughs> just show my viewers uh, as a little. Okay, if I sh if I share my screen, would you be able to, uh, be able oh, to see? You can do that. Yes, please, please go ahead and share, share, share your screen. Let's let's take a quick look at that. Okay, uh, good seabird. And this is this is this right. is. You're, you're seeing this one? I'm seeing it. This is just pencil, right? Yeah, it's all pencil. This is amazing, man. Yes. This is amazing. Oh, thank you, thank you. Uh, this is amazing. No, you you don't just do pencil drawing. You do, you told me you do other stuff, right? I mean, art. You, you're obviously not one dimensional. You, there's other stuff that you do, and I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna ask you a little about that later. But tell me about this picture, um, quickly. All right. So, I, I don't know for some reason, I always tend to listen the older music. Like um, some Peter Tosh, um, Bob Marley, um, Desmond Decker, those type of persons. Because I find that their music came from deep within. And I found that they were very instrumental in pushing Jamaica out there to the world um, with this type of music. So all the artists um, that we have now, um, they're doing well. And that's good. That's, that's really good. But they would have been standing on the shoulders of these great men. And I really, I really admire um, these persons. So any person within that um, era, um, I always have great respect, um, res respect for those persons. And especially with this piece, I was really saddened by the passing of, of, of such a great man. Mm -hmm. And I would have listened to his story and I would have learned of his journey as a musician because he would have made a guitar from bamboo early. Um, maybe he was uh, maybe 13 or, or those, uh, maybe 14. And mm -hmm. he would have made that, that guitar. He would have played that guitar, um, sing, um, much to the, dis um, the disapproval of his parents because mm -hmm. his parents were Christians yeah. and they would not be pleased um, to, to see him singing. So yeah. despite the odds, and all of that, he stuck to his um, creative talent and he took it to the most um, extreme level. And I think that is inspiring for anybody. Yes. Awesome, 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 awesome. This is a lovely, I, if, I mean, typically, if I look at it and I'm thinking that that's actually a, like a, a photograph <laughs> of the man himself. It's, I couldn't believe that that was, that was actually pen and pen, um, well, pencil. Yes, and pencil. pencil. It is that. pencil and, pencil and paper. That is amazing. Even the glare in the glass, um, the reflection I'm looking at. How do yes. you do that kind of stuff? But it just speaks to your the talent that you have. Tell me about, tell my list. You do, you also, you also did something quite impressive recently. You also did, you told me uh, a mock-up of the Morant Bay courthouse. Oh yes. Um, I, I that, have was, a... that was not a drawing though, right? That was actually... It's that a card cardboard um construction. Cardboard construction. Yes, cardboard and construction. This, this man is amazing. All right. So oh. so this though is a picture of the cardboard construction. Do you have it in your hand there? I mean, are you are, are you already got rid of it? <laughs> no man, I have it, but it's it's quite big, so it's in another um era from here. Okay. Yes. Um I don't know. Would you want me to get it to see to see around? No, that's, that's fine. That, that is fine. I mean, if, if if you can hold it in your hand, that's that's that would be okay but if it's gonna take a little while that's fine but this is actually a real okay. but you're seeing the photograph of it right we are seeing uh, yeah we are seeing and my viewers are seeing the photograph but this is a okay the the the, 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 the give me a 60 second summary of what this is and what, what what it meant to you well um with this piece i i i am driven to do 
are to, to, to promote an awareness of what our ancestors would have done for us in terms of sacrificing their own lives, leading the charge against the status quo. So, yeah. so this is a person who would have shown bravery in that regard. So I, I, I drove to St. To Saint Thomas and I, because I didn't want to just work with photos from the internet. So I yeah. drove over there and when I went over there, I was, I was really disappointed to see that um, the building was so, in such a bad state. There was no roof, burnt. It was, um, it's, it, it's in what you call um, dis disrepair, a condition of dis disrepair. Yeah. So I took some photographs of all different angles and I came back and um, I started to do some floor plan and side view, um, the roof plan, because uh, I have a video of it on my channel. So persons, if, if person should go on my channel and watch, they would see all the different stages of me creating that building. So right. it's really just, just pause here a minute because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be sharing your video link a little. Guys, I'm going to be sharing Ryan's video link um, in the description of this video. But, but you, you can actually, if, when you go there, it's not if, but when you go there, make sure you take a look at, the, at how he designed this. What, what is it? Well, not a house, but the courthouse here. Yes, a courthouse. It, 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 that also is amazing. No, this is not a drawing. It was actually made from paper. You should see how he did that. Look at the intricacies involving that. And notice also that he also reconstructed Paul Bogle standing on a monument somewhere at the front there. Oh, this yes, guy, yes. This guy is amazing. All right. So, sorry, man. Sorry to cut you. Go continue. Yes. Um, so... I, I, I'm just trying to bring um, an awareness, especially to our, our um, younger generation, of mm -hmm. what would have happened in the past. Because if you should ask anybody who was born maybe 2007 and later, they would not have known about this building because this building was burnt, was destroyed in 2007. So I initially titled this video that I, I am bringing, bringing it back to life. So, it, so I, I saw it in that regard where persons would get a, get a, persons of a younger, of the younger generation would get yes. to see and somehow would have learned of the story of Paul Bogle and what, uh, what he would have done there. In, interesting that you place that, they place the cane field in the background. <laughs> oh yes, sugar cane was, as you know, was, was like, um, it, 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 it's what really drove slavery because um, the plantation owners, they were moving away from honey because honey was much um, expensive to produce. Yes, so yes. sugar cane, they got the free labor from the slaves. And that was really the, 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 the epicenter of the, of the whole slavery, sugar cane. All right. What, what is your vision? Uh, what, is, what are you hoping to achieve with what you're doing now? In, on, in the online space. I mean, you have, you have, you have quite, a few, quite a few drawings and, 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 and mock-ups and of stuff on there. Very, very impressive. Guys, his channel uh, is, give me a channel name again, Ryan. Ryan. Ryan G89. It's R-A-Y-O-N-G89, no space. Ryan G89, that's his YouTube channel. Make sure you go ahead and check it out right now. All right, Young so guy, that's, very brilliant, very talented. That's that's a, that's, that's a channel. Yes. That's a channel. Are you so you would have seen the Portland, the 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 the, the, the courthouse in Moran Bay, and you would have seen Tootsie Bird, his actual drawing. But there's a lot more that he does on there. But 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 Ryan, go ahead and tell me what are you trying to achieve in this in this space right now? What are your goals and aspirations? Well, uh, being a teacher, I always see it necessary to inspire, um, especially those who are younger. I enjoy what I do. I am humble to my talent. So I'm trying to extend um, that to, 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 to the younger generation, to yeah. inspire, to say that you can do it too. And in the future, I, I'm hoping to do some tutorials 
in a way where I can guide, where I can guide and take um take um younger kids um step by step in terms of how to draw, maybe whatever they like, or how to make, whatever they like, and how to express themselves in art, how to how to how to express themselves. Wonderful, wonderful. No, I I I notice that you have a. This is actually a a, a PowerPoint presentation. Oh yes. So take take. Take 30 seconds for me and just do a quick slideshow because obviously I have a lot to show on there. So just start from the top and just tell me what that is. You don't have to go in, in much detail. Just, just kind of show my viewers what this is. So, All right, so, so this is the courthouse. Um, yes. this, is showing, this is showing another angle. Yes. So you get to see the side view here. You get to see a, a, a better view of the statue at the front. Yes. Frontal view. And yeah. here you get to see the staircase. Um, the staircase took me about two days. It was, yeah. was, and yes. This was only built, built with paper. It was only built, built with paper. Paper, oh. glue, cutting paper and glue. <laughs> Amazing. All right, good. All right, so this is actually the first um, cardboard, um, cardboard model, mm -hmm. um, building model I would have created. And I did this oh. back in 2013. So it's, it's, a, it's a model of the Monroe College um, Chapel. All right, and the Monroe, Monroe old boys, uh, I'm sure will appreciate that. Good. What's the yeah. other one? Um, oh, this is Toots here. Yes. This is a pencil drawing. This is a pencil drawing of, a, of, a, of an African child. Yeah. I, I saw this photo and I fell in love with the photo. So I said, okay, I'm going to do a drawing of this photo. So, yeah. Wonderful. Um, this is a drawing of a popular dancehall artist, Jada Kingdom. Okay, good. Uh, this is a painting. It's a painting of the premise of Antigua and Barbuda. So you do painting as well? Yes, I do. I do all the different, um, exp we call them expressive forms in art. Yes. So there's painting, there's drawing, there's ceramics, um, sculpture, there's um, leather craft, there's um, applied art. I even, I even do embroidery. So, <laughs> wow. yes, I, yes um, I actually awesome. have a, Actually, I have a piece on this where I, oh, this is another oh, piece. All right, so hold on. Let me just, let me just go back to the Caribbean, the Antigua. So just, again, big up again to all my Caribbean people. The rest of us, we are one people, okay? One yes. big, happy Caribbean people. Big up Antigua and Barbuda. All right, move down. All right, so this is um, Trevor Monroe. Yes, Dr. Yes, Trevor uh, Monroe, yes. I uh, did this painting in two days. Wonderful. Yes. Wonderful, yes. This is a painting now at um, boys lining up to go for breakfast at Monroe College. <laughs> you went to Monroe? No, I work at Monroe and teach there. Oh, you work at Monroe. Okay, all right, good. What's the other one? This is a painting, um, the evolution of transportation. Somebody, yeah, somebody brought this picture to me and asked me to do a replica of the picture. Because if you realize, you see a picture to the right of the painting, the top yeah. corner. Yes. yes, so so I basically imitate the picture, um, do a painting from the picture. Yes, yes. Man, you are amazing. All right, what's the other one? Oh, this is a pencil drawing. I did this for somebody. All right, good. Another pencil drawing. Okay, good. That this and the the, the detail is immaculate. Yes. yes, thank you. Yeah. Another pencil drawing. Yeah. Pencil drawing. Okay. Well. You know, this is great. And we, we, I think we get the idea. Is there another one you want to show? There's another one below that? Okay, this is um, a painting. Uh, mm -hmm. This is this, 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 this is a picture you would see, uh, especially when I was growing up, because my, my mother, she sold, um, she, was, she sold at the market during all of those years. Yeah. So, so this is a common scene that you would see um, early, early morning. Um, sorting out, we call it load, but I know in the market you would say goods, but yeah. in the country, when you're going to look for the produce, you actually yeah. say you're going to look load. <laughs> yes, yes. yes. So, so these yes. persons are actually looking load and sorting out them yes. load. Yes. Who are some of my country people up there? Yes. Um, Aberdeen. All right. What's the next one? All right. So this is a, this is a actually embroidery. This is uh this this style of art is called applique. Uh -huh. so, yes, so I got some fabric and I uh, cut to fit and I stitched them to 
to a back in to create this picture. Well, I tell you what, I have a renewed interest in art. I love art, but I couldn't draw. <laughs> you know, but uh, what you're showing me now really, really has heightened my interest, my brother. Okay, uh, what about this one? Oh, um, I also do banners. Uh, so oh. this, yes, I was at a camp in 2018. I did this banner. Okay, um, good. Camp for some kids. Good. Uh, yes. Wonderful. No, I know. I I'm, okay. Great. I think we get we get the idea. Wonderful. Awesome work. Yes. Uh, I'm pretty sure. I know you. You have your channel, and I'm 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 inviting you you my my viewers to check out his channel, uh, Ryan G89 on YouTube. But I'm figuring that somebody will also be interested in in some of your work. How how can they how can they contact you, my brother? Well, I also have a Facebook page. Um, my Facebook page is of the same name, Rayanji89. Yeah. So you can, you can message me from there or you can contact me via phone, whether yeah. it be call or through WhatsApp. So that's uh, 1-876-347-1716. Okay, good. Yeah. Awesome. awesome. Love it, man. Love it, love it, love it. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for sharing uh, your work. Your, just giving us a little insight really because i'm sure there's a lot more to it you know but this is enough for me to convince me that you are gonna go places uh, i believe so and i'm happy that i was able to help to uh put you forward yes sir you know, thank, thank you this is this is talent that should be that the world should know you know yes sir um, thanks thank, thank you mean, and thank you much for that you're you, absolutely you're welcome what message would you give to youngsters like yourself, uh, Mr. Griffith, Ryan, um, Ryan, sorry. <laughs> what Ryan. message would you have for mm -hmm. a youngster uh, who would probably just need a little inspiration, need some motivation, and have some talent, but not even sure what they want to do uh, with it? Us as adults at times can, 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 be, uh, can misread uh how kids operate because as uh if a child realize his or her passion from early and how you realize your passion is if you're doing something and while doing that thing everything feels possible so if you're doing something and while you're doing that everything seems possible so maybe there's a boy in class or a girl who may not be doing so well at the schoolwork, but they, when that boy go, um, goes out and run or plays football or that girl's, um, girl plays netball or that, boy's, that boy um, jaws or do whatever it is that that child finds innate or natural, everything seems possible. I think we should allow or a, a child should try to see that from early and uh, um, adults or parents should position that child to develop that develop that skill to 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 find out as much as possible what are the possibilities um if i should do this um what what are the what are the avenues that i could take etc because um sometimes you find a child having struggles in the traditional academics or traditional way of schooling but we don't really try to find out what are the strengths of these of of, of, of of this child what yeah. what makes this child feel as everything is possible as though everything is possible because yeah. when i draw everything seems possible um when i hold the pencil and i i, I am on the paper i for, I, I forget to eat many times i i forget to eat when i'm doing artwork everything um you blocks out everything yeah. and it is just what you do that makes everything feels possible and try to find that from early um, mm -hmm. position yourself to find out all the different avenues that are possible within within that it can be anything talents vary talents vary in music dance whatever it is but try to find out um, that passion from early all right thank you man uh, the 
question I have, and I have, I, you heard me in the, my introduction earlier. <laughs> uh, but you, you, you can still be honest with me and tell me, in your mind, what do you think makes Jamaica special? Uh, well, I remember at the start you said that um, most people think that the people of Jamaica is what made Jamaica special. Yeah. But I, I must also add to that that Jamaica's um, geography and yeah. our landscape also makes us special because yeah. geographically as a place for such a small island, Jamaica includes most of the, geograph of the geographical features that you can find because yeah. we, have, we, ha we have caves, we have waterfalls, we have rivers playing the different beaches mm -hmm. and all of those would have add to our um, tourism product. Yes. But when, when we speak of the people now, then we, we, we speak of um, how we express ourselves in a creative way, our sports and in terms of sports, Jamaica is always punching heavily above its weight. Because if we should go to um, athletics and we are always competing with some countries whose population, we, we are not even 10% of, of those countries in terms of population. So thank you so much again for your time. The pleasure is truly mine. I am really happy that I, we're able to, to, um, to finally get this, this this, this, this interview, have a little talk with you. All right, guys, so there you have it. Ryan, Ryan Griffiths, uh, Jamaican artist extraordinaire. Young man, going places. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you would have learned something. I certainly have developed a new appreciation for art, the different types of art. And I'm um, so happy that I was able to expose Ryan and share Ryan's work with you. Again, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and tap the bell notification. That way you will stay updated on all my latest videos. And if this video meant anything to you, make sure you share it with someone. Please. Uh, it he does, I believe, deserve the recognition. Share it with someone, especially uh, young persons, so you can inspire someone. This is indeed the real Jamaica. All right, I must say thank you. Thank you very much, sir.